Hey there, so uh, today I wanted to tell you about my son. He recently got over some great adversity. He joined football this year. He uh, joined the team and really wanted to play, wanted to get out there and hit, and found out that he was too heavy for the team he was on. Uh, he was doing the junior midgets, and he was going to have to lose about 45 pounds. Yep, my boy's a big boy. He's a great boy. He's a great son. And uh, they just needed him to be lower so that he'd be able to hit other uh, people on, on the other teams without severely hurting them, of course, you know. Um, kids that can be kids, and they can get a little rough, and that's football, you know. But he got into the team, and then he went through Hell Week, and he went through the conditioning, and he just wasn't losing the weight that he wanted to lose, and he needed to lose in order to get through uh, certification. And we were talking to the coach, and coach suggested that we try a different division of the league. Uh, he was on junior midgets with the past and Panthers. They didn't have what's called midgets, which is the next weight level up, the next age group up. And since he was turning 12 this year, which is the lowest age you had to be in order to be on the midgets, um, they decided to give it a shot. So we went over to La Cunata, uh pointing, because that's the direction it's in. Uh, right next door, we actually are barely in the La Cunata allowed area. Uh, there's a certain part of Pas uh, Altadena, Pasadena that La Cunata shares with, and we're in that strip of uh, land. So he's able to go out for that team, and they gave him a shot and said, sure. Now for this team, he would only have to lose about 20 pounds from when he started. He had lost about 8 by the time he switched over, so he had another 12 pounds to lose problem he still had 12 pounds to lose one week before certification I got to tell you my son was horribly upset about this he, 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 he had been trying he had been out there working out and you know we, we went out there we worked out I, I got him in the park on the weekend and I was running them just like they do during a, a regular hell week you know, working for two hours, kept him hydrated, kept food in him and stuff so that he wouldn't uh, pass out. But he was hurt. His whole body was hurting. His whole, you know, his whole psyche was hurting, you know. And, you know, on the next day on Sunday, we had a conversation. And basically, I, I wanted to find out what was going on because he, he was just in a horrible uh, frame of mind. It was affecting his ability to work out. It was making me as a parent feel like I was you know, doing something horrible to my son, and, and I just, I wanted to find out what was going on, so we sat down, we talked, and found out that he just had a non-belief that he could make it. He didn't feel like he could get to the weight that he needed to do. So we sat there and uh, talked about encouragement, talked about vision, talked about, you know, if you want it bad enough, you can get it, and I believe in you. And we came out of that with him saying, you know what, we're going to do this. I told him, win, win or lose, you got to try. you got to get in there and, and do this. And we left the, uh, the little conversation saying, yep, we're going to do this. And we devised a meal plan for him. No carbohydrates, vegetables, fruits, those were his friends. Water, lots of water. And we came up with some ideas of other ways to help him lose weight. The next day it was Monday, so practice started up again. He started working out, working out, working out, weighing himself every day, and he was starting to see results. He took the carbohydrates out of his diet. He was eating fruits and vegetables. He was watching what he was doing. He was making sure that he always had his heart rate up a little bit so that he was always burning something. And the first day he lost four pounds, which is awesome but it wasn't very close to where he needed to be. But we did the math together. We sat down. We said, hey, you know, where are you now? Where are you going? We got plenty of time to get out there. So the next day after that was about the same. Not four pounds. He weighed about the same. He started feeling and feeling. I kept telling him, you know, what are you? He says, I'm greater than, Daddy. I'm greater than. Because that's the mantra we came up with. What are you, Rowan? Greater than, Daddy. Greater than what? everything which he is we all are so we move on down down the road here we get to thursday oh my god he's lost another four pounds but he's still four pounds away he still needs to get four more pounds off and he's feeling like he's you know he's really getting into it and all that his mom takes him to a sauna 
on Friday before certification, day beforehand, and they do 20 minute intervals. 20 minutes in the sauna. They go out on, on, onto the, uh, the equipment and they start pl working out on the equipment, the, the elliptical, the, uh, the, the running machine, the uh, uh, weights, and you know, really getting the heartbeat up and, and moving stuff. And then the rest break, that was taken in the sauna, getting that sweat on, you know, getting all that, that, that water out of them. You know, the day of, he steps onto the scale and it looks like he's going to make it. So we get to certification. Certification is 26 leagues, all right? 26 cities have their own leagues and they have multiple divisions of kids, all on football teams. So you figure at least 22 kids for each division multiplied by how many divisions are in that league multiplied by 26 cities. There's a lot of kids there. Luckily, we were in the city right next door, so our number was number two in the list, the host city, which was Pasadena this year. Got to go first, and then after Pasadena was done, Lacaniana went on. So what happened was the, the coach uh, took several uh, uh, bathroom breaks before the uh, weigh-in, make sure none of the kids are carrying any extra weight onto the, uh, onto the field. Luckily, my uh, son was not the only child that uh, was having a uh, need to get rid of lots of weight issue, and uh, we got him up there. My son went off. There was a single file line walking up to the uh, to the thing. Parents got to stay where they were and twirl their thumbs and worry and be concerned. They went over there, came back, and my son was not happy. I could see it in his face. He was sad. He had this, you know, little wetness right here that tells you that, you know, my 12-year-old son is barely holding it together. And then the coach goes like this to all the parents. They had all passed weight and my son came in one pound below the required weight for the team. He made it. This was awesome. In one week he had been able to pull off over 12 pounds. He did it because he set himself up with a goal he got help from people around him to get that goal together. He lived that goal. He worked on that goal. And he achieved that goal. I am a huge proud papa today. I am so proud of my son. He is the best possible experience I could have had in the last couple of weeks for a goal coming together. He's amazing. I'm going to learn from him. Thank you. And Take care.